Hello everyone and welcome to some retro news. There's another update for the Mr. PlayStation Core. The PSX NIC demo is now running, so we have some live 3D working. The status of the hardware emulation now currently stands at the CPU at 60%, the GPU at 70%, memory 20%, IRQ 20%, the pad, I'm assuming those are the controllers, are also at 20%. If you're a member of Robert Pipe's Patreon, then you can try out the demo for yourself. There are instructions in the downloadable zip, but I'll walk you through the process. You're going to need a PlayStation BIOS, specifically the one named SCPH1001.bin. First, download the PSX beta file from the Patreon post. Extract the downloaded file to a new folder. I use the free program 7 zip to extract my zip files. In the extracted folder, Copy the PlayStation underscore Nick RBF file to the underscore folder on the Mr. SD card. Also on the Mr. SD card, in the folder that contains all the folders where you store your ROMs, create a PlayStation folder there. Since Mr. uses Linux and Linux is case sensitive, make sure you have the PNS capitalized in PlayStation. On the folder you extracted from the zip, Copy the psxnic.exe file onto the PlayStation folder. Now rename the PlayStation BIOS you obtain on your own to boot.rom. Make sure it's all lowercase. Then copy the boot.rom BIOS file to the PlayStation folder. Next, on the how to text file that's included in the zip file, copy the PlayStation configuration from it. Then open up the mister.ini file on your Mr. SD card and paste the configuration at the bottom of the file and save it. Now, boot up your Mr. Go to console, scroll down to the PlayStation Core and boot it. You will most likely get a blank screen because that's what I got when I first booted up the Core. Now I'm getting an image of when I previously ran it. Anyway, just load up the Mr. menu, then select Load EXE and select PSX NIC. The demo will load and then it will run. It's pretty cool seeing this progress happening. I do get a black bar scrolling from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. This is because I did not use the configuration file from the how to text file. That configuration caused incompatibilities with my capture card. But when I do use that configuration, I do not get those bars. Now let's load up the course menu to see if we can get a sneak peek of any planned features. It looks like he will be working on some save states. I love save states. It's pretty difficult to play a retro game from beginning to end in one sitting because of time constraints. So save states help me continue a game at a later time. Color has a 16 and 24 bit setting. 24 bits looks to not be working. Maybe it works better if I use that configuration file. There's also a video memory viewer. This will be useful for debugging purposes. Video and audio has some of the standard Mr. settings. And miscellaneous has some unique settings. Pause when OSD is open is a feature I wish the Neo Geo Core had when it's set to arcade mode. And rewind capture seems to suggest that there might be a rewind feature to the core. So that seems to be it. Remember, this core is really early and it's a long ways off from playing any games. Any features that I talked about here, like save states and rewind, are not guaranteed to be in the public release. If you want to support the development of the core, consider joining Robert Pipe's Patreon and also consider joining Patreons for other core developers and the Mr. Project. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, Hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.